Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to do something a little different. Um, I've always wanted to be able to um, create a lattice on an object that is not aligned. Um, so something like this. So let's say we have a cube like this and it's rotated and that's perfectly fine and I can drop a lattice on it and oops, let me show all and you can see the lattice is lined up. Uh, it's arranged uh, to the cube to the object but what happens if I make this cube and then I freeze transformations and apply a lattice this is what happens now I can always select the lattice on the base and then try and arrange them together like this and then align and this is a real pain in the butt it takes a long time and if you have a lot of objects to do this is really annoying uh, to have to do and I've had to do this plenty of times uh, so let me show you uh, something that a friend of mine came up with uh, I've talked about this problem uh, with uh, this guy I know Chris DeVito who is a great uh, script writer and uh, he came up with this it's called oriented bounding boxes in Maya it's just a little script now uh, it, it actually works really simple if you just look in, in here for, to me this is all like rocket science but uh, you just download the zip file wait for that so then I'm gonna open the zip and I'm gonna take the OBB master and drag it just into any folder you like so I'm gonna put it into just my Maya folder like this Okay, so the next step is to simply, I'm gonna minimize this, is to open the folder and take the setup mail and drag it into the viewport. Now, I'm gonna set this to my custom shelf uh, because what this will do, uh, you can use any shelf you want, you can use the polygon shelf, but when you run the script, it's going to add a couple of uh, icons to any active shelf. So I'm just gonna take the setup mail, drag it in here. It's gonna go through and install it gonna uh, say give you this little notice say it's done and you can see we have two uh, buttons here and we can also look to see where it installed and it actually put it inside your Maya folder in scripts I put the your OBB script and a couple of packages that you need and let's uh, use this and this is super useful so I have this model that I made uh, a while ago uh, it's a hawk uh, Harris Hawk if uh, you need to know and you can see it's uh, quite dense and let's say for some reason we need to change uh, the feathers I want to go through and I want to um, change the feathers a little bit I want to like bend them you know maybe they're too flat or too straight uh, so I can do this normally I would have to create a lattice and do it by hand but now with the script I can just select the feather click lattice and there it is you can see the lattice is aligned exactly to the feather and I can uh, then just press G on each feather and you can see all my lattice points uh, all my lattice uh, cages are now aligned to each feather I can then select <coughs> all the lattices change their options And then I can start working on uh, set this to object and then I can start working on changing these feathers and adjusting them and you can see this makes it very easy I can bend them if I want I can distort and make all kinds of changes that normally would be really hard to do otherwise and I have it all aligned now you can for some reason if you need to align cubes but you can use the other button, one's lattice, one cube. So you just click cube and it will just go through and replace, uh, or not replace, it will just uh, put cubes for each one. So this is also nice if you're rigging and you need to get orientations and you need to rig all the feathers, you can align uh, all, all of your, you can orient all of your joints to these cubes. 
and you can see it works pretty well. Now the script is a work in progress, but it works pretty well just the way it is. It should work with Maya 2015 and up. I'm using Maya 2016 extension 2 and Chris has tested it on Maya 2015. So if you want to get the script, just uh, visit uh, Chris's uh, GitHub page. You can download the zip from there and I'm going to post the link in the description and just a quick little uh, installation instruction there as well. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe and like and uh, see you guys next time.